Hey there, guys. Um, so today we're going to talk about the dado. A dado is a groove in the wood, um, and it's a common joint in fine woodworking where you need to insert something into a slot. We're going to use a dado. So an example of a dado would be something like this, where you have a piece cut out and a groove made for another piece to fit into. Um, you'll notice that this one is cross grain. You can also go with the grain on a dado, technically called a groove, but we don't differentiate that typically in, in class, so a dado's a dado. There are tons of different variations of dados. Um, one of the common ones that we see and we talk about is going to be called a rabbit. That's R-A-B-B-E-T, not I-T. Um, and it is basically a dado on the edge, okay? So it's gonna be a groove or a notch on the edge of the board. So dado, rabbit, pretty simple. All right, so to practice these joints, we're gonna do what's called a lap joint. And a lap joint is basically two pieces of wood that are connected by some type of dado. So the cool thing about this is when we hand cut, we can practice by hand cutting rabbit to rabbit, which you'll see in the video. We can practice by cutting a rabbit to a dado, which you'll see in the video. We can practice by cutting a dado to a dado, okay? And it's basically all the same joint. You're gonna watch the video, you're gonna see how to cut the rabbit, you're gonna see how to cut the dado, and then you can make whatever kind of joint you want from there, okay? Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do here when making our lap joint is we gotta make our rabbit. So we're gonna put a rabbit on the end of this board here, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide the end in half and then we're gonna cut a section of that out, okay? So easiest way to do this that I know of is my lap joint is gonna sit like this, but I want it to sit flush. So we're gonna make a mark on here so that we know where the edge of this lap joint is gonna go, okay? Then we're gonna take our speed square or your combination square or whatever, and we're gonna wrap that up over the top, okay? Now, to be able to find the dead center of this, we're gonna do that same old trick that we've done multiple times where we go corner to corner, and corner to corner, and that X point is gonna give us the dead nuts center on there. So I'm gonna take my speed square here, get it squared up, and there's the center line of my joint. Now. I'm gonna wrap that up over the top. And down the side here. And that should be good. We're just gonna double check here with the X. Beauty. Okay, so I've got what I'm gonna cut out. So just so that we're clear on this, I'm going to cut this section out of this joint, okay? Okay, so she's in our vise here. Um, we wanna get this nice and tight and straight. So what we're gonna do is we are cutting across the grain. So we are going to use a back saw in a cross cut pattern. And I'm gonna run just on the inside of that line, making a slight kerf on it. Run right down to that line with your saw. And then we're going to reposition this upright. Looks pretty darn perfect. Reposition this in the upright position. So now I'm gonna cut straight down. I am cutting with the grain here, so I'm going to switch to a rip saw, okay? And again.
This is a rabbit. This is a grooved joint at the end of the board. So basically a dado on the end. Okay, now, time to move to the next one. Right. So we're gonna switch back in here. We want to make this joint fit into there. So again, mark that shoulder line where we want that to be. Take the old speed square, wrap it around on the sides. And then a little trick here, we're gonna line this up. We wanna cut that out. And it's quite possible that my first rabbit was not perfect. So we're gonna make a mark there. We know that this is the part that we wanna cut out. So we're gonna put a little X on there. Bring that line down. Bring that line down, X. X, X, let me get this wrapped up over top there, all right. So then that should fit in ever so nicely right there. Okay, so again, put it in the old vise here. Grab the old back saw. Line up where we want it to be. I'm watching my cut in the reflection off my saw. If it looks like it's reflecting exactly as it should on through, then I'm probably cutting straight up and down. If I tip my saw, then that changes the way that'll look. Okay. Pop this guy upright. And we are going to cut that out. Boom, lap joint. So as you can see here, the lap joint is a double rabbit, two rabbit joints lapped together. Now you could peg this, you could glue it. it needs to be cleaned up with a chisel a little bit, but it's fine for now. Um, you can also splice boards together like this. Um, and if you peg this, even better. Okay, so we've got our double rabbit lap joint, but what if I needed to join this board in the center? So in a dado and rabbit lap joint, I would mark out where my lap is gonna be, right here. Okay, and again, I'm gonna line up my edges here, like this, and I'm gonna mark where that belongs. Take the old speed square. Mark my shoulders. Okay, and I need to cut that dado out. Now again, the difference between a dado and a rabbit, a rabbit is a groove at the edge of the board, and a dado is going to be a groove in the center of the board. Okay, so unlike the rabbit, where we could cut straight down from the end, I can't cut down in on this and have it still be a dado. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our edges, just like we did, right on that line. Same thing on this side. I am framing in the dado that I'm gonna make. Beauty. Okay, now, from here, I'm just gonna make a series of cuts in here. 
And these cuts are gonna allow me to knock out what the extra material is in there. So these don't have to be perfect. See, it's already starting to break out on right, this there. So, from there, I can take my chisel, I can take a mallet, whatever, and I can kind of bash these out. Okay, and they pop right out. Okay, so we've got it like this. Just stick it over here, grab our mallet here and we're just going to start working that chisel down in there getting rid of all this extra material Take our rabbit now that we're cleared out. It should slide in fairly nicely. And there you have a dado rabbit lap joint.